When Echion started, it was uh, a couple of PhD students in a university engineering lab. Really things kicked off once we received support from the Faraday Battery Challenge. We went from a team of two inside a university doing very early stage research with a patent to receiving um, seed investment from private investors and funding our expansion grass staff and, and really take our technology from that early stage, very high risk entity that it was to something that was in the hands of customers, getting feedback and developing it into the products that they are today. So the real problem which is faced by normal lithium-ion technology today is it, it can't work at high power and it can't work for a very long period. So when we talk about high power, we're talking about charging and discharging your cell quickly in five minutes or less, uh, whereas your current tech is really limited at sort of a charge discharge every 30 minutes, 20 minutes for say a Tesla supercharge. Uh, we're really pushing beyond that. If you think uh, in terms of applications like heavy goods vehicles or railways, you've got a lot of power that you've got to get out very quickly. Uh, and that's where our technology comes in, where other technologies at the moment can't quite hit that. This also ties in with the lifetime. So lifetime of say a graphite cell at the moment is a few hundreds to a few thousands of, of cycles, perfect for consumer use, uh, but not really for industrial applications where you're expecting it to last for sort of 10, 20 years, and you need a battery that can match that. So our technology is driven by our mixed niobium oxide product line. This is a family of materials made out of a key component, niobium, which provides this ability to fast charge and fast discharge by having these large open crystal structures, the framework of atoms in the structure, where lithium ions can fly through and fly out without any resistance to them. One of the issues with graphite technology is that it's not safe to fast charge. You try and charge it too quickly, Lithium ions become lithium dendrites, causing a short circuit fire explosion. With our XNO technology, mixed niobium oxides, um, it's impossible to take place. Our voltage versus lithium, for lithium going in and out, is around 1.5, 1.6 volts, so it can't happen, giving us safe and long life cells. So another benefit to our technology is around sustainability, a key issue and driver in the lithium ion cell industry and in the automotive industry. So at the moment, around 35% of emissions in a vehicle come from the lithium-ion cell battery value chain. So reducing that is key for most customers and most policymakers. With our tech, we use sustainable niobium, which has a very low um, emissions record, and we use a very sustainable process to make our material, driving this further down. My name is Lubna and I'm a Chief Product Officer at Echion Technologies. I'm in charge of customer success and cell development. So the aim for me is to support our customer to achieve at least the same performance that we have internally and even exceed by optimization and combining their expertise at the cell level and the application level, achieve uh, better performances in cycle life and safety. So here is the sort of first iteration uh, Echion pouch cell. It's three amp hours. From this, we were able to take our learnings and put it into a bigger cell, a 12 amp hour cell. This we've proven to charge in six minutes. Again, this was tested by our collaborators like Allison Transmission, Vantage Power. They gave us really good feedback and gave us confidence that the technology going into the cell is useful in many applications. Although industrial use and long life, high power, uh, big applications is the focus, um, we are working on, on some premium consumer products. So um, in particular, we work on things like um, motorsports applications. We also have applications like micro batteries, medical devices, things like a battery for a pacemaker or something. You want that to last. And the particular voltage that you need matches well with our tech, yeah. We've been fortunate in having um, quite a number of grant funded projects through the Faraday Battery Challenge. It's allowed us to go faster, to collaborate with people that we wouldn't have been able to collaborate with otherwise. So. All of those have been with different universities and with different businesses, each one. With the support we received from the Faraday Battery Challenge in Innovate UK, we're expanding both our facility um, and our workforce uh, from a team of 20 to a team of about 35, expanding the facility by about a factor of three with construction of new labs, offices, and a small pilot plant for process and on manufacturing development. I truly believe that this innocuous looking powder really has the potential to electrify those applications that can't because they lack in life or they lack in power.